Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm excited to share with you another What I Eat in a Day video. So my sweetheart and I have been in the Canary Islands. We're in the Canary Islands right now preparing for our wedding. And I've been enjoying starting my day with filtered water to which I add pine needles. There are some gorgeous pine needles here on the island and pine needles are a wonderful source of vitamin C and they add a lovely softer taste to the water. So I add pine needles to the water the evening before, let steep overnight, and then I drink in the morning. I don't usually break my fast until around 1.30, and I have a video called Intermittent Fasting if you'd like to hear a little bit more about why. So on this day, I had a really busy morning, dance rehearsals, Skype sessions with my health clients, went for a lovely run, did some wedding prep, and I don't think we had breakfast until two o'clock. And we did this with pineapple and one of my favorite fruits on the planet, cherimoya. One cup of cherimoya has over 30% of the recommended daily allowance of pyridoxine, which is also known as B6, vitamin B6. And among other great characteristics, vitamin B6 is great for reducing overall stress and tension, and that makes this the perfect wedding preparation food. So dinner, which is my second meal of the day, was around 3.30, and I started with a couple of these beautiful mangoes that you see here. And then I had a second course consisting of my raw buckwheat stir. My raw buckwheat stir has an entire head of romaine lettuce in it, as well as raw soaked buckwheat that I then drain and season with and marinate in yummy spices. Let me know down below if you'd like the full recipe for this. Buckwheat is a gluten-free seed and it's a great source of fiber, a good source of protein and magnesium. And energetically, I find that it's a really grounding and nourishing food, which can be a great addition for those of you who are needing that currently, and also those of you who are in cooler weather. So that was it for my day. Both of my meals were absolutely delicious, and I felt great after the meals with lots of energy the next morning. And these, I think, are great signs of a truly supportive diet. If you would like support on how to feel your best and succeed on a raw vegan diet, whether short-term or long-term, check out the webinar that I created on this subject. The webinar draws from my personal experience as well as my professional experience as a holistic medical doctor. The link to the webinar is in the description box down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, clicking the notifications bell next to the subscribe button. And I'm sending you as always so much love.